In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a folder for course materials. Now that we're setting up for first day complete, we'd like to see everybody have this folder, or this module in your course and give the students the link to um, the course materials and the Wolfpack website as well. So to go in and add a module into your course, you're going to click on content. And in content, we're going to do a scroll down the bottom and you're going to hit add a module. And the new module I'm going to call is course materials. Okay, and you're going to see this new module here at the bottom. If you want to move it up in your course, you can just grab the dots in front of it. You can see you have a four prong arrow and you can click and drag it and move it up in a location where you want it within your course. Okay, so I'm going to move it back underneath course information. Okay, so when I go into course materials, to be able to add the link for the, basically the Barnes & Noble, it used to be um, Barnes & Noble um, first day, and we changed the name of the link to course materials. So to add that link inside this module, you're going to go to existing activities and you're going to go to external learning tools and you're going to select course materials dash NIA. All right, and there is the link there. So when students click on this, they will actually be able to access all their course materials from all their courses, okay? Depending on how they're set up. If it's an ebook, they should be able to see it right away in that area, okay? Now, one of the other things that we're recommending is to add a link out to the um, Wolfpack website that has been created for students to um, give them information about the first day complete that we're doing. It's, you know, we're calling it Wolfpack. And um, it'd be a good idea to add that link to these course materials as well. So um, right now, when I to go in and add the link, you would go into um, Upload and Complete, or Create, and you're going to add uh, or create a link here. And um, you know, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it um, Wolfpack um, Course Materials. And I need the URL, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and grab the URL that was given to me by the bookstore. Okay, so here's the Wolfpack um, website that they've created for these students. And it's under our college website slash academic slash Wolfpack. So I'm just going to click and drag and select that URL and copy it. I'm going to do a control C to copy it. I'm going to go back into my course where I'm adding that link and I'm going to paste in the URL. Okay. And you want to leave it to open it as an external um, window or an external resource and hit create. Okay. So that went out to where the link would be. And I'm going to go back into my course materials module. And if you want to, you can add a description telling the students what this actually is linking them out to or what information it's giving them. So to be able to add information here, I'm going to go to the Chevron and do Edit Properties in Place. And you can do that basically for any link or anything that you add to your course. And I can add a description here. So I'm going to put in here... Um, And you can, you know, put whatever you want in there, but I'm just kind of letting them know what it's all about. Okay. And then if I just come up here and refresh my screen, it will get me, oh, actually I want to hit update. And that's going to show up underneath the link. So they'll have a little bit of an idea of um, what that website is going to take them to. 
If I want to, I might want to put that first so they can learn about the Wolf Pack uh, program at NCCC, and then they can click on the link to go into course materials. So this is how you would go in and add that module in the course. So when the students enter the course from the home page, they now have a module called Course Materials. Okay, so I moved mine up underneath course information. So here's my course materials. So when students go in there, we're going to see the um, information about Wolfpack and the course materials linked to, to get into it inside the course. So um, if I go to student view, and I go on and click on this, and I click on course materials, should give them a listing about any course materials they have in the course. So most of mine are OER, so I don't have any course materials for my classes. But if you do have other classes or the students have classes with course materials, they should be able to see the materials for the courses. Okay. Um, also, if you set up this link um, before the course materials have been released on the Barnes & Noble end, it might say that you currently have no course materials associated. Okay, so doing early, you might not be able to see anything yet. 